In your bag, you'll get some paper, yarn, and a paper plate, but you'll also need scissors, a marker, pen or pencil, and some tape or glue. Let's start by marking where your eyes will see through your mask. On the inside of your plate, make two marks for where your eyes will go. They should be about halfway in the plate and about three inches apart. Mine are a little high. Next, we'll draw a circle around our marks, big enough for your eye to see through. This is your guide for cutting. Taking your pen or pencil, poke a hole through the center of your circle. This is where you can insert your scissors to make cutting out your eye holes a little bit easier. Your circles may not be easy to cut and they may come out kind of jagged, but that's okay, as long as you can see through it. When you're done, hold up your mask to make sure that you can actually see through your eye holes. For your nose, you'll need your marker. I used black, but you can use any color you want. Look at some pictures of polar bears and see what shape their nose is. You can draw a simple mouth like this and be done with it if you want, or you can try something more difficult. These are some examples that I drew up. You can use them or draw whatever you want your mouth to look like. My polar bear is sticking his tongue out because he's silly. But you can do anything you want. This time I used a purple marker and changed the shape of my nose. I also gave her a cuter mouth and some little blush marks under her eyes. Don't worry about the paws, we'll get there. But for the ears, you're gonna take one of your smaller pieces of paper and draw an ear shape and cut it out. Then you can put it up against your other piece of paper to make sure your ears are the same shape and size. As you can see, polar bears have a dark spot on the inside of their ears, so using the same color marker, or a different marker if you want, color in that dark spot. I use tape, but you can glue your ears on for extra security. Just find the right placement and attach. Now that's a silly polar bear. You're gonna make your paws on your bigger pieces of paper. Just make sure it's big enough to hold the size of your fist and then cut out a circular shape. Using the same technique as we did with the ears, you're gonna hold it up against the other paper to make sure your paws are the same shape and size. Start by drawing the polar bear's palm. It's kind of a long boomerang shape. And polar bears have one, two, three, four, five toes. So make sure you add those in. Do the same thing for your second paw and you are all set. 
Now we're gonna make the handles for our paws using two small pieces of yarn. Lay the yarn flat on the back of the paw and tape or glue to secure. To attach the yarn to your mask, you're going to poke two small holes on either side of the mask with a pen or pencil. They don't have to be very big, just big enough to put your yarn through. Use the long yarn to attach to your mask. You can use a pencil to help push your yarn through the hole. Then you tie a knot and repeat on the same side and voila, you have a mask. Here are some examples I've made. You can do whatever you want. You can change the shape of the nose, the paws, the mouth, anything you want, and it'll still come out looking like a polar bear. After you're done making it, you'll probably need someone to help tie your mask on, but then you're ready to play. Here are some more books and resources to learn more about polar bears and to read books starring polar bears. Thanks for watching.